वेलकम बैक एवरी वन आई एम ईशान शर्मा एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई हैव विद मी द क्रिएटर ऑफ द फर्स्ट इंडियन प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज सो आनंद कदम ज्वाइंस मी फॉर एन इंटरव्यू टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ डिड ही क्रिएट द फर्स्ट इंडियन प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज द नेम ऑफ दिस फर्स्ट इंडियन प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज इज कलाम आफ्टर डॉक्टर ए पी जे अब्दुल कलाम एंड यू कैन लर्न दिस लैंग्वेज बाई जस्ट गोइंग टू द वेबसाइट कलाम डॉट आई ओ आई विल लिंक इट इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन दिस इंडियन प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज कैन बी रिटर्न इन हिंदी मराठी एंड वेरियस अदर इंडियन रीजनल लैंग्वेजेस दिस इज अ वेरी डिफरेंट इनिशिएटिव एंड दैट्स वॉट वील बी डिस्कसिंग विद इम वॉट फॉर द चैलेंजेस he faced what was the complete journey of of you know creating this language what was the response he received uh, all of this we'll be discussing in this episode make sure that you watch it till the very end subscribe to the channel like this video and share it with a friend of yours and uh, yeah now let's get started Hey Swanand thank you so much for joining me here for this podcast interview really excited to talk to you bro and how are you doing there Yeah man amazing what about you I'm also good uh, so yeah let's get started with your language you uh, wrote your own programming language uh, tell me what is kalam and uh, what was the motivation behind uh, you know writing your own language Right uh, so kalam is an indian programming language so English students can go in Hindi, Marathi also other native languages support will come so. But right now it's Hindi and Marathi. Uh, plus the thing about Kalam is you don't have to get a laptop or install anything like you have to do other languages, right? Uh, you can just go to Kalam dot io and start coding right away. Uh, the main motive I would say for creating Kalam for the students who are from diverse diverse cities, from rural areas, from semi-urban cities. so they know they are very uncomfortable with english they have that bright talent they know how things work and all that but they are not able to get access to this technology ecosystem right mm-hmm. they will get it but maybe after 5 to 6 years once they will be completely that and all that now so all that creative potential might just get wasted uh, because they don't know anything about this thing so kalam is serving as that tool for them to get understanding of programming the fundamentals of understanding in their native language so whenever they want to move on they will have that pace okay so this is program that's how these things work and they they will be able to move forward very easily so what type of language is kalam exactly like uh, you have um, like you have python you have c++ so where does kalam fall into in that spectrum right exactly uh, so i'm a big javascript fan plus i have also coded in python so when i started working on kalam i wanted it to be similar to regarding to javascript and python in terms of syntax obviously these languages have matured over the period of one or two decades right so they have a lot of feature i would say uh, kalam syntax is inspired from uh, python in a lot of ways Uh, but Kalam, you can if you want to talk about programming paradigms, you can uh, use imperative programming like coding line by line. Also, you can use functional programming concept. Right now, object-oriented programming is not supported, but it will come uh, later in later versions. Mm-hmm. Okay. And yeah. what were the challenges that you faced when you were writing your own language? Because this is something different. This is not something that uh, you know that is taught to us how to write a programming language. So, like, what was yeah. that uh, experience for you? right uh, so i wanted something to create uh, something that would help a lot of people but i wasn't finding anything like every engineer has that dream right to create something based mm-hmm. something uh, so uh, when i was when i got serious about programming okay so let's do it. i started practicing problems on projectuler.net great website you should definitely check projectuler okay uh, yeah projectuler.net mm-hmm. so i saw it around 40 to 50 completed programming questions let's see the number Uh, but then i was basically trying to find a problem but when you are trying to find a problem it might be the case that it will never come to you uh, it might come to as a flow while you are working on something else. so that's what happened with kala so while i was doing my freelance stuff my contract work and all that uh, i'm from a basically small village from maharashtra okay i'm not from a big metro metro city or something like that so mm-hmm. i have it was there i have some cousins who are like below the age of 16 so they know he swanand bhaiya does this things he knows about technology he has a laptop right having a laptop in village area is a kind of big thing so they were asking me questions like how to create apps how to create games like how is this even possible like being a small student questions 
so then I started telling, okay, these are languages. You, you can talk to computer, computer with that thing. You tell them something to do, and then they will output that thing for you. So I showed them a calculator example. I coded them a uh, calculator for them in JavaScript. They loved it. But then I saw in, on their faces that they, they were that alien like thing, right? That syntax, mm -hmm. that English thing, that algorithm, that for group, and all that. It was an alien thing for them. So basically, I was just uh, translating everything for them in Hindi Marathi. But still, after that, when it comes to coding, you still have to type in English, right? And they didn't know it. It was uncomfortable thing for them. So that's when a uh, brain went into my mind. So after one month of this incident, like uh, why there is no Hindi programming language? Like I understand it is not uh, uh, not a practical thing to use for development, but at least for learning to right. Uh, so that's when I started working on Kalam, and that was the main motive behind it. Okay, and one question I have specifically is like, uh, why did you take Hindi and not Sanskrit? Because I have uh, heard and I've heard these news that Sanskrit is a better language. That is what they say for, uh, you know, coding and or for programming computers. What do you think about right. this? Yeah, so when I started working on Kalab, the only thing that I was, uh, I, I had in my mind was usability, right? Yeah. Now tell me how many people in India actually know Sanskrit, right? Mm -hmm. uh, plus the second thing is you talked about, I know there is that paper, it is from 1984 or something like that. I also got to know about it when I started posting about it on LinkedIn. People were like, why you, uh, what do you consider Sanskrit? Uh, Sanskrit is really not that great language when it comes to programming. And no one has said that actually. In that paper, there was some totally different thing and people and of manipulated and said that okay that researcher said since okay. this program language yeah I've gone through it it's not that case uh, but ultimately you can type in any language mm -hmm. you can type in any language Hindi Marathi Sanskrit Chinese whatever and as far as you are converting into machine code zeros and one properties understanding it there is no problem so I can even create a program language in Sanskrit right now but only two percent of Indian people actually speak Sanskrit right they use it for day to day purpose. So in that case, it wasn't practical for me. But if uh, somewhere in the future, if it's an even cool thing to do, I will do it in Sanskrit. It's not a but. It's not that uh, there is not an audience for uh, people coding in Sanskrit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically, Kalam uh, is a is a language in which you can just use any Indian language. You can use Marathi. You can use Hindi, uh, and you can learn to code, right? Yes. Yes. Exactly. Awesome. Uh, what was the reception like? What were people saying when they heard this news that you've made a language like this? Right. Uh, so first, when I launched Kalam, I started posting about it on Reddit. I like Reddit. There are great programmers out there. So okay. it was very easy for me to get the feedback, right? But again, the feedback was coming from developers, not from the student who will be uh, actually using yeah. it in the later. Yeah. Uh, so what I started doing, I started conducting one-to-one -one sessions with such students from rural areas through the through the contacts I have with NGO, NGO companies. So that's when I started realizing, okay, this can be really important thing for them. So I remember there was a guy called Nikul. He was uh, six in, in sixth standard. So I we, we were chatting on Google Meet. I told him to just do, uh, go to Kalam.io and start using Kalam right away. And then we went to Vailo. You know Vailo, right? Uh, in Kalam, it's Japta. It starts from What did you say? What, what, what? Uh, there is a wide loop in programming, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so in Kalam, that's equivalent to Jabta. You have to use Jabta for that. Jabta. Uh, so he went in, yeah, uh, so he went into that, he saw the example, and without me speaking even any word about it, okay, so that's how it works, just through uh, basically through action and the feedback he was getting from that output panel, he was easily able to decide, for, okay, so this is what I do, and then she just started playing with it. So that was a very big moment for me and not just that after having sessions with a number of students I realized that okay, this is really helping them to learn programming. It's not that it's perfect, there are a lot of things I need to work on. That's why I introduced learning mode in Kalam also. So mm -hmm. in that way, Kalam will be able to tell students line by line execution, like what is really happening in proper Hindi words. So basically it's like a deep brother, but for the students, made for the students who are learning something new. Yeah. So basically, the thing is, uh, people uh, who are from certain regions in India, they can start with Kalam. And once they know the basic programming fundamentals, 
they can then move uh, into the more traditional languages like javascript and python is yes, that exactly, what you want yeah. okay okay yeah 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 i mean that right. you can't even say that that's the end goal actually uh, because in the end i want kalam to serve a particular use case like javascript is basically used for web development right yeah uh, python used for ai purposes so i want kalam to have a particular use case in the future uh, right now that's why i want to focus it on just as a learning tool but later on there will be a lot of different scenarios in which we'll be able to use kalam and not just as a learning thing all right bro well th- this is actually a quite an interesting initiative that you've taken uh, and uh, what was the response what did people say on linkedin about this like you talked about how what uh, the kid did uh, what was the response by people who are in the corporate sector right uh, so that was something uh, which was very unexpected from my side uh, i never posted on linkedin so just one of my friend told me to so create this thing then why why do you post it on linkedin Uh, the day I posted on LinkedIn and suddenly went viral. I think right now that's got around more than two lakh views for one post when I the launch of the run basically. Mm-hmm. Uh, many people showed their support for him. For it, uh, founders, the startup CEO, and all those people they really liked it, and it really helped me grow my LinkedIn network. But not just that, they they guided me, they mentored me, and showed the different perspective on how which we can take it forward. plus one thing i really liked about this is other developers who uh, really wanted to contribute to it so that's when the walls of open source came out people were like make it open source and all that uh, the day i started working on it i was thinking about making it open source so kalam will be open source very soon now i have just have some things to figure out so that was the response so people were like we about what it contributed to it through open mm-hmm. source and then the uh, uh, corporate people were like CEOs the big people they were mentoring me like how we can take this forward awesome so uh, just yeah. like the python was written in c++ code is this uh, something that was like is there a language underneath of uh, kalam yes exactly so kalam's uh, interpreter is written in javascript right now okay. kalam is web based so so that's mm-hmm. why it's written in javascript JavaScript is not a perfect language to write the compiler in. C C plus plus is the best way to do that. But as I was tar- tar- targeting web based platform because that is more openly accessible. Otherwise, if I was targeting only Windows, imagine students would have to buy a laptop and have to install a particular package and then start coding. So that wasn't a practical thing for me at that time. So that's why I chose JavaScript. But in the future, you can expect uh, a compiler written in C C plus plus just for that. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Uh, I hope that a lot of people will use this uh, this language to learn to code, and there should be a lot of tutorials on YouTube as well, teaching just how to do this particular task, how to do that. So yeah, this yeah. is really amazing. Uh, this is an amazing thing that you've done. So yeah, thank you so much for joining me here for this podcast interview. I hope the people got to learn something, guys. You can really just go to Kalam. Io to uh, just get started with Kalam. Uh, go check it out. and uh, let us know what you think about it in the comment section below you can also connect with uh, swanan i will leave his instagram and his linkedin profile links in the description so yeah thank you so much swanan yeah man i loved it man you are doing an amazing job uh, i saw some of your interviews with other people so like as a student i can understand how much it can help me that perspective and that wide perspective so please keep on doing a great job we will support you everything thank you so much yeah, bro thanks So that was the episode. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. I really enjoyed, uh, you know, just talking to him and learning from him. How did he make this language? Uh, do check out the language Kalam. Io. The link should be in the description. You can also connect with him. Uh, I have his social media handles in the description as well. Um, but yeah, if you are still watching, just uh, write in the comments that I watched till the end. Thank you so much. Uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram. I post there pretty much daily. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.